Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is boats to save people. So in this question, we're given an array people where each element inside the array denotes the weight of the person and there is an infinite number of boats where each boat can carry maximum weight of limit. So we have given an integer variable limit which denotes the maximum weight one boat can carry and each boat can carry at most two people at the same time provided that the sum of the weights of the people is at most limit and we have to return the minimum number of boats to carry every person. So the worst possible answer will be the number of people inside the boats. So each boat will carry one person at a time irrespective of the limit. So here you can solve this question in worst possible number of boats which is equal to 2. The first boat will carry the first person even though there is space for the second person because limit is 3 and second boat will carry the second person. So total number of boats can be 2 but that is not what we need. We need the minimum number of boats. So while forming that ideology you can note that you are checking if there is space for the second person with the limit. So you can optimize the approach by assigning a boat with the heaviest person inside the list of uh, people inside the people's area and check if there is space for one lighter person according to the limit. So for that we need a sorted array. So let's take a look at this example and see how we can solve this problem. I've taken the same example they've given us. This is the input array people given to us. So now let's declare a result variable called boats which is initially zero and finally we have to return this boats variable. So to solve this question we have to sort these weights according to ascending order. So you can access the heaviest and lighter person easily. So after sorting the input array, it will look like this. So let's declare two pointers. The left pointer will be pointing at the beginning of the array, accessing the lighter person. And the right pointer will be pointing at the end of the array, accessing the heavier person. So in this question, limit is equal to 3, which denotes the max weight of each boat. So in each iteration, we're going to choose at least one person, right? Because in one boat, you can at least send one person in worst case. So that will be the heavier person. And it is obvious that you have to send all the people and the heaviest person will be equal to or less than limit. In each iteration, at least the right person will go. If not, both the left and right person. So in each iteration, we're going to check if the weights at left and right is less than or equal to limit. If that is the case, we are going to send both the people, else we will send only the heavier person. So this is the condition we are going to check. Here left plus right, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. 4 is greater than 3. So we can't send both the people, we only send the third person and increment both. So we send the third person out. So we used one boat, increment both and decrement right. So right will be pointing here. Now check again, element at left and element at right, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and 3 is greater than or equal to 3 so you send both the persons so this person will be sent in one boat and this person will also be sent in the same boat so you used one more boat so increment boat and increment the left pointer and decrement the right pointer now we again check element at left and right so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 4 is greater than 3 so you don't send both people you only send the right person right person is 2 so you send him in a separate board and increment the number of boats boats is 3 and you decrement right once both these pointers cross each other you can end the iteration and you return the output which is boats and that is the expected output now let's implement the steps to solve this question coming to the function that I've given us this is the function name and this is the people array where each element will denote the weight of that person and we have a limit variable of integer data type and the return type is an integer so you return an integer denoting the minimum number of boats. So let's start off by sorting the array. Now that we have the array in ascending order let's declare the two pointers. So the left pointer will be starting at the beginning of the array where we access the lighter person and the right pointer will be pointing at the end of the array where we access the heavier person. And now let's declare the result variable. I'm going to name it boats and initially it will be zero. Now we iterate until these two pointers exceed each other. We have to process the array. So while left is less than or equal to right. Now we find the combination of heavier plus lighter person and check if it is less than or equal to limit. So if this is the case, we used both the people pointing at left and right. So we increment left and decrement right so that we access the next set of people. 
and now that we have sent these two people inside a boat you increment the boats variable in denoting that you have used one boat and in the else block it wasn't possible to take two people on the boat so you just take the heavier person inside the boat so you just move the right pointer to the left because you used only the right person and left pointer will be pointing there only and now we used one boat to send this right person so you increment board denoting you have used one board so this while loop will happen until all the people are processed inside the people array so here you're also considering the case where left and right are both equal pointing at the middle person once these two pointers cross each other you can end the iteration and finally return the variable boards now let's try to run the code our test cases are running let's submit the code there you have it, a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n log n because you're sorting the array and the space complexity is O of 1 because you're not using any extra data structure to solve this question. But in turn, arrays.sort will be using an array to sort the input array but which might not count towards the space complexity of this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.